What's up, my know-it-alls? It's time for the penultimate episode of Loki. Now, for those of you playing at home who follow along this channel, you know, for us, penultimate episodes are extraordinarily important. They're supposed to do a certain thing, and that is get us excited. Either the climax of the series happens here, or the season rather happens here, and then we go downhill during the last episode, sort of recovering from that, or it sets it all up. This episode was the latter. We're gonna get into it. Before we do though, please do me a big favor. Click that like button or subscribe. One of the two things. I really don't care which one you do, but I appreciate you doing either one. I hope you'll do both. But either way, we got a whole lot to talk about, so let's just get that out of the way, all right? Let's get into this. This is Loki, season two, episode five, the penultimate episode, titled Science Fiction. Wow, uh, so first, I've heard many rumors from people online saying this was gonna be a filler episode, it was gonna be this, it was gonna be that, we were gonna get all this other stuff. None of what you've heard online is, is, is true, kind of, from a certain point of view. This episode is very important. Was it purposefully paced, what, essentially slow? Yes, don't hold that against it. I don't consider this a filler episode, though, because everything that happened in this episode was very vital. Funny enough, the one thing I feel like the Loki show does and is doing very well, it is a, it's doing more in six episodes than the most of the MCU has done since season one of this show. By that I mean it is actually laying groundwork. It's telling us something interesting. This show has something to say, and I find that fascinating. Hopefully you will too. The episode basically picks us up right where we left off, only difference is this time Loki is not dispersed everywhere like it seemed like it was gonna happen. In fact, we end up at the exact point of explosion but reversed, and we don't know what's going on. He's still at the TVA, nobody else is there. He's kind of started sh shifting around again, but there's not that far in time to shift into. He moves into the future at the TVA and he finally he sees himself standing at a desk, comes back to the past, winds up walking around. Now he's at the desk, here's himself, okay? So again, there's not a whole far to go. Then he finds himself start to jump through time. And we get the bottom, he goes to each of the places he goes is a branch timeline. Why is that important? because the branches are dying. The same thing that happened to Victor Timely, turning into the spaghetti and all that stuff, is happening everywhere. The TVA is in some sort of special uh, safety mode or whatever else, maybe it's supposed to let everybody be able to jump ship or something, but ultimately thing, it itself is breaking down. And so Loki finds himself going to each of these places. One, he goes to the one place where uh, where, he, where Eugene Cordero's character is, he, who's in prison. He ends up going to the doctor's office where uh, Hunter B-15 uh, actually works in her real life. Goes to the place where Mobius works, where Mobius sells jet skis. We saw from the trailer and all that. But at the end of the day, I was like, okay, I'm with you. And then he goes, to the, he goes to where, where, uh, where Ouroboros is. Ouroboros is a, is a physicist who writes science fiction, but can't get published or whatever else. But Ouroboros is right, the one who's open, and he, Ouroboros is the one who helps him understand, maybe, you have to understand, this is not, this is not fact. This is fiction, because the rules are different. Doesn't sound like science. No, but it does sound like fiction. You need to learn how to control your time slipping. And you have to, and so he talks to him and he makes Loki understand that Loki's time slipping is the key. So what happens, Loki goes to try to find Sylvie. Sylvie remembers him. I know you don't know who Loki, I am. Of course I know who you are. What? Sylvie realizes that what happened was the actual, it was what she always wanted and she was very happy and content even though things at her very fingertips were disappearing. She walks out, she's got a little drink, she puts it on her car, as she's as she notices Loki, the thing disappears. Stuff is fading out until she's at her record store, chilling out, just trying to, because Loki came to see her and she's like, no, this and that, whatever. And they have this heart-to-heart -heart moment at the bar, it's interesting. 
But this guy, she, she's listening to a record and the, her, her branch timeline is starting to disintegrate. She manages to get a doorway open and goes to where Loki is. And we see it all fall apart. That's when, as it's falling apart, Sylvie disintegrates. Everybody's going away. Loki's trying to fight it. Next thing you know, he finds himself back at that exact moment. He tells her, I think I figured it out. He finds himself back even further. He can, he has finally realized and he looks at Ouroboros and says, you were right. I figured out how to control it. I controlled it. You learned to control your time slipping. Yes. And that's where the episode ends. It ends with him going, I know I can rewrite this. And he appears back at the moment when they were actually at the TVA before all the stuff was going to go down. And he realized, he, now with his new ability, he's going to be the one that has to go out and do the thing. And that's what we're going to get to. So it may, there you go. Now you know. And if you don't have the battle, you have to bring a note all yourself. What's the Nautilus Index for this episode? I'm not even going to play around. I'm not even going to hide it. I firmly, I appreciate this episode. It gets an eight for me. Okay, that's right, 8.0 out of 10. So comment below, let me know what you think. I'm a firm believer this episode is was actually very pivotal to everything. Integral, if you will. A lot of folks are gonna think it's slow. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, people are gonna be complaining, this was slow, this was this, this was that. You do not understand storytelling, trust me. You needed this episode. We understand the stakes. We understand what is at stake. And I understand more about the state of the multiverse and the MCU now than it than all these other shows have told us anything about. So I love to have this conversation with you. I, but what do you think is going down? How do you think last episode was going to go? My prediction is is they're going to do the thing. They're going to fight, and, and everyone keeps saying he's going to become He Who Remains or this and that. I believe we are going to get He Who Remains back, or we're going to get Jonathan Majors as He Who Remains because Loki goes back enough to ask him about it and tell him about it. Loki's going to play a much more pivotal role in all of this, and I still behold and maintain that by the end of this, he's either going to be the god of stories, or he's going to be on his way to becoming the god of stories. Let me know what your thoughts are. I would love to hear your predictions. I'd love to have that conversation with you. Follow us on all those different social medias, and thank you as always to everybody who chooses to subscribe and be a part of the Know-It-All Nation. I bah, love each and every one of you. I cannot wait to talk about this next week. Never forget, everyone loves a know-it-all.